nowadays, computers can be found everywhere, and at some point or another you've probably wondered who made them. In today's video, we will answer your question, and reveal to you who invented computers, so stick around to find out. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe with notifications on, so you do not miss any of our new videos. Also, feel free to follow us on social media, links in the description box down below. In fact, the first computer resembling today's modern machines was the analytical engine. It was a device, conceived and designed by British mathematician Charles Babbage, between 1833 and 1871. Before Babbage came along, a computer was a person, someone who literally sat around all day, adding and subtracting numbers, and entering the results into tables, which appeared in books, so other people could use them to complete tasks. In 1819, Babbage visited the City of Light, and viewed the unpublished manuscript with page after page of tables. He wondered if there was a way to produce such tables faster, with less manpower, and fewer mistakes. Babbage returned to England, and decided to build just such a machine, his first vision was something he dubbed the Difference Engine which worked on the principle of making complex mathematical calculations, by repeated addition, without using multiplication or division. It was until 1832, that he produced a functioning prototype of his table-making machine. Then he turned his attention to an even grander idea, the analytical engine a new kind of mechanical computer. The basic parts of the analytical engine resemble the components of any computer sold on the market today. It featured two hallmarks of any modern machine, a central processing unit or CPU, and memory. Babbage of course didn't use those terms, he called the CPU the mill, and memory was known as the store. Babbage's new invention existed almost entirely on paper, he kept voluminous notes, and sketches, about his computer's nearly 5,000 pages. And although he never built a single production model of the analytical engine, he had a clear vision about how the machine would look and work. It wasn't until 1991 that his particular ideas were finally translated into a functioning computer, built by the Science Museum in London. It stands 11 feet long, and 7 feet tall, more than 3 meters long, and 2 meters tall, and contains 8,000 moving parts, and weighs 15 tons. Augusta Ada Byron, met Babbage at a party when she was 17, and became fascinated by the mathematician's computer engine. Ada discussed Babbage's ideas with him and, because she was gifted in mathematics offered her own insights. She is arguably the first computer programmer, and she predicted that Babbage's computers might one day act upon other things besides numbers.